could have a 20 degree difference in the water temperature from 88 degrees to 68 degrees. So what happens is because of that, dif that difference in water temperature is the lake develops a thermocline. And the thermocline is going to be this area right here. This band of water that's right here in the very middle is what's the thermocline. So when people talk about fishing above the thermocline or fishing below the thermocline, fishing in the thermocline, this is the band of water that they're talking about. So anything below this bottom band right here is fishing below the thermocline. Okay, so what happens is this water right here, I should have made my numbers a little bit smaller, but hopefully you can get the picture. So this water right here is what most people refer to is the dead zone because this water has very little oxygen in it. So this is everything below the thermocline. It's going to have very little oxygen. Therefore, there's going to be very little food source down here. There's going to be very little bait uh, fish down here chasing after that food source. The higher you go in the water column, there's more oxygen and the deeper you go there's less oxygen. So this part right here is your most productive water. Everything down below this point is your dead zone. Again, there very well may be fish down here in this dead zone, but as a general rule, you're going to find the majority of your fish above the thermocline, which is going to be approximately 23 feet. So that's the basic nuts and bolts of the thermocline and how it affects the water and what it is. So what happens when the thermocline sets in is down here, I think I'm just going to have to start over here. I need a bigger Barker board. Down here in this bottom portion of the water, you've got all your moss and seaweed and everything else that is decaying matter. Then you have water up here where you have more productive water. Fish are going to continue to be here in this area. You'll have fish down here all along the thermocline. And if you look at them on a graph, you may see a few fish down in here below the thermocline on occasion. You're generally not going to see them real close to the bottom. They're generally going to be right in here on the top. Those fish are going down underneath the thermocline. They're feeding and they're coming right back up. They're not staying there because there's not enough oxygen in that water down on the bottom to sustain their life. So now 
that we know what the thermocline is, which is again that middle band of water where the water temperature changes drastically before you get to the bottom where it changes drastically again and you get into the dead zone. 